Hi, Dr. Christopher Shank. Uh, this is just a quick video showing you briefly the different functions in the Sketch Engine. When you log in, this is the screen you'll see. Um, it gives you an option to pick the corpus that you're interested in. We've got over 300 corpora in more than 60 languages, but for this we'll just use the BNC. So once you've picked your corpus, you can see here on the left a list of the functions that are available. We'll start off with the concordancer. Um, there are a lot of different um, expert options that you can choose, so sorting the, um, the keyword in context um, depending on what appears to the left and to the right and depending on the type of text that it appears in. But let's just put the verb think through the concordancer. Then when you click make concordance it should come up. And because the BNC is lemmatized, you get it in all of its different forms through the middle. Uh, blue link here on the left hand side tells you the document. So if you click the link, you'll see the metadata. Um, if you click on the keyword in context here, you can see an extend a box at the bottom that shows more context, which you can, you can expand to the left and to the right. We also have the word sketch function. So again, when you click it, you'll see the entry form. The advanced options there um, appear when you click on that. But we'll just go with the default options for this. So think uh, as a verb, show word sketch. A word sketch is a one-page summary of a word's grammatical and collocational behaviour. So when think is used as a verb, it usually, in the BNC, appears with these subjects, these objects, etc. So I'll just scroll down. As you can see, these um, clusters or these lists here are categorised based on grammatical function in relation to the verb think. So here we can scroll down and see all the different types of grammatical patterns it occurs in. So that's your word sketch, one page summary. If you're interested in a particular word in the word sketch, you can click on it. So let's say think and people. We can click on the link there for people and it will show you the concordance lines with the, um, the query term in the middle with the item that you've clicked on in the word sketch in the context. We also have a thesaurus function. So again, the entry form and the advanced options. Um, so if we click show similar words, this function um, we've called a distributional thesaurus. So the words that appear in this list appear here because these words collocate with the same words that think collocates with. So um, this is the distributional thesaurus for the word think. If we see a word in there and we want to ha look at more information, it, we can click on any of these links. So let's look at think and consider, for example. So here, this is the sketch difference. So the words in green collocate more with the word think and the words in red collocate more with the word consider. So this can be useful if you're looking at synonyms but you want to differentiate um, the contexts and ways in which they are used. It can help you differentiate between the meaning of similar words. So uh, briefly, uh, that was the concordance, the word sketch and the thesaurus, but there are other functions in the sketch engine and uh, a range of, of different corpora. The N101012 corpus is a particularly large corpus that we created using a the web crawl function, web bootcat. We can create you can create your own corpus in the sketch engine. So the N101012 corpus was a web crawled corpus of 12 billion words collected in 12 days. I hope this has helped you. Um, and please don't hesitate to get in contact if you have any more questions.